It is very eerie. Night tours is a brand new thing that we're doing this year. It's never been done before. It is a self-guided experience that features an audio tour that's actually narrated by actor Steve Buscemi. We have all kinds of interesting features. The building is all lit up, which features its Gothic architecture. We have large-scale projections on the wall, and you can see different points of interest, such as Al Capone's cell and death row, and it's all happening at night. It's definitely a very different experience. We're going from a haunted house to uh, an educational tour. So we feel like it's a perfect thing to do this fall and it's very unique to Philadelphia. Eastern State Penitentiary is America's most historic prison. It was built in the early 1800s and went to ruin in the early 70s. Since then, we've opened it up to daytime tours, nighttime tours, so people can learn about the history of Eastern State and the history of prisons in this country. The guard towers are definitely a highlight of night tours. The central guard tower has lights sweeping the grounds at night, and it's very reminiscent of what it was actually like when Eastern State was open. When you come, you'll be offered an audio guide, and there's 10 stops along the way to start and then you can watch different films, different art installation projects from different artists from around Philadelphia and all around the country and some of them are tucked away in different cell blocks and different cells and we have everything from paintings to sculpture and other surprises too that you'll find along the way. Some of the really iconic features you'll see at night tours are Al Capone's cell. People come from all over wanting to see this and also Death Row is a very popular place. We also have a ward winning exhibits and art installations all throughout the tour. We have a silent film from 1929 that plays, projected huge on the prison wall in the interior, and it's one of the highlights of the tour. People stay and they'll watch for 10, 15, 20 minutes because it's just fascinating to see what life was really like when Eastern State was open. It is a, a great way to get into the fall spirit. It's also very educational and historic.